Hello Virgo, happy birthday. Thank you for being here. I hope you're all doing well. This is a general reading for Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising for September 2020. These messages are guided by spirit but may not reflect your circumstances. So I invite you to check your birth chart for other prominent placements and watch those videos as well. There may be something for you. For a personal reading or to purchase any of my Oracle decks, the link to Etsy is down below. Okay, before we get into what your spiritual journey oracles have to say for you, let's, um, let's talk about some of the things I got when I was meditating. Uh, they gave me very strongly the word transformation. <laughs> so I don't know if, if, you know, scorpionic energy will come up in this reading or the death card will come up in this reading, but I feel like there's a major shift and change going on. This is, this is in your life. This could be going on around you in, you know, the lives of your loved ones, maybe, you know, a romantic relationship, but I feel like there's big change and with big change comes decisions. And they also, gave me um, something about questioning what it is you really want. So, you know, how often times, how often do we really sit and ask ourselves that? Do you know, what do you really want? And I don't know if this is an energy around um, maybe chasing something that, that like you're on a quest <laughs> and maybe this is, you know, not you, it's, it's someone else in your life. Um, but th there is this, this deep dive around, you know, like, what do you want? What makes you happy? Um, then they showed me a gazing ball. So uh, they're pretty, you know, it's summer, maybe everybody's spending time outside. Um, this is also about wishing and hoping and dreaming about things. So, you know, it could be that, um, I don't know, with, with questioning, you know, what it is you want and a gazing ball, maybe it's, maybe this is about a reality check or something. Um, and then they showed me the card, the tarot card, the nine of pentacles. So enjoying life, creature comforts, uh, money, independence, um, stability. So, you know, maybe some of you are single and you don't want to be, maybe you want to be single. <laughs> I mean, we'll see where this goes. So, okay, well, that was it for my meditation. So let's take a peek at what came through with these spiritual journey oracles. Rediscovery. Peel back the layers of a person or situation to discover what you may not have originally known. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if that's part of that, what do you really want energy? So, you know, maybe you're looking at something in a new light. Intuition. The gut feeling and deep sense about something is your intuition. Trust it. Trust it. I feel like that came through for a reason that that perhaps, um, you know, maybe this peeling back the layers of a situation um, is revealing to you what maybe you already intuitively felt. And so this is spirit, you know, encouraging us, us, I'm, I'm lumping me into the Virgo group to just really trust when you feel something intuitively deeply down inside of you there's a reason for that signs and synchronicities the universe is communicating to you through numerology song lyrics or other signs watch for them hmm. so if transformation is on the horizon in some regard you might be seeing 555 maybe you're seeing 1111 which is about walking your spiritual path um, embarking on a new journey something something presenting itself to you. So pay attention to what those are. Pay attention to the patterns. Wow, healer. You have the ability to heal through words, thoughts, touch, and actions. You might be in a, in a connection where, you know, you are shining a light for someone else. There's perhaps a, you know, a very healing connection going on. Separation. Use this time away from a loved one for reflection, appreciation, or protection. Wow. So for some of you, this could be about a relationship that has gone through um, a, a break of some sort, and you're really looking at it with a new lens, taking time to really evaluate what, what do I want? And again, this could be vice versa. 
Divine Timing. All is happening in universal time when spirit knows you are ready, which tells me that there's some work to be done, healing to be done perhaps. Um, knowing what you want, knowing with whom or what a situation presents for you, and is it, is it worth it? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm grasping at all kinds of possibilities. So let's see where we go with this Virgo, okay? Let's look at the energy around you in the month of September. That's wanting to come out, go the distance. It didn't, but duly noted, it may fly out. All right, most significant for Virgo in the month of September, Spirit. What do you have for Virgo for September? Co-create, it didn't come out. <laughs> we'll let it do it on its own. I'm not going to pull them. What else for Virgo? Gosh. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Bottom of the deck we have clean it up. Something needs to be ironed out, repaired. Wow. Okay, we have orphaned. This is an energy uh, that I pick up as a reader as an exit. Someone has left a situation. Um, alternatively, you could be feeling in the cold, left out by someone. There is a separation that has taken place as indicated here. So this is a period of uh, reflection, of rediscovery. Maybe looking back on it and asking yourself, why, like what happened? What happened between us? Is, is there something I missed? Um, you know, this rediscovery card is really all about why. And maybe when you ask yourself this, you're also asking yourself, you know, what do I want? If, if whatever this was, wasn't something I wanted, um, what do I want? Regeneration. Spring after winter. Something, uh, you know, blossoms after a period of dormancy. So this could be a second chance in your connection. This can also be starting over. Um, you know, this is, this is about new beginnings. So let's see where we go with this. Let's take a look at the energy around you specifically in the month of September. Strongest energy around Virgo spirit. strongest energy around Virgo. I feel one more in there, possibly. Okay, oh shoot. <laughs> okay, two more. Sorry, I had a hair tickling me. I had to get it off of me. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, and there's the death energy transformation. There's no wires on these cards. I don't plan this. Yep. Wow. Holy crap, Virgo. You have death, energy, transformation, the devil, temptation in this deck, and the tower, disruption, possibly, right? And the sun, holy crap. So <laughs> did something come to light that really rocked a connection? Um, are you realizing that this is um, an unhealthy attachment, devil, temptation? It's, um, it doesn't have to be. It, it can be a very strong, like soul tie. Uh, you know, they, <laughs> the, these relationships that are a strong soul tie really run the gamut. This can be a beautiful connection that comes together once the healing has taken place. These are, you know, sometimes both karmic and, and, you know, very beautiful. But I feel like in the meantime, there's this really tough energy to deal with. So either this transformation is happening in your connection or maybe independently of your connection. Maybe someone's foundation is being rocked. They're moving away from something toxic. Going through a huge shift. This is kind of dark night of the soulish it feels to me major major changes so something coming to light 
the veil being lifted, I like to say with this card, I feel like this is that rediscovery. So whether you or someone in your life, I feel like there is a massive um, eye-opening experience that's being evaluated and change taking place, but probably very healthy, necessary change, especially if this tower brings down and ends something um, unhealthy. Could be a relationship, could be anything at this point. It could be even a work situation, a toxic job. Okay, so let's take a look at changing it up for you since it's your birthday month. Let's, let's make an extended reading here. What shifts and changes have taken place that is influencing this? Let's take a look at that. What shifts and changes have taken place for Virgo or their person? Oh my gosh, yes. Realizations and epiphanies. This is your aha moment. This is your rediscovery. Seeing something for what it is. The forest for the trees. What else? Shifts and changes for Virgo. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot. Well, <laughs> one of these I feel we have dietary change and healing from the past. I do feel like there's healing going on. Okay, yeah, grief work for sure. So if this has to do with some sort of a, a breakup, a separation from someone, um, I feel like there's a lot of healing that needs to be done, but something had to change. Something had to shift and, and blow this up, if you will, because um, it was unhealthy. I, I'm getting with this devil energy, it was, it was not um, either, either it was stagnant, it wasn't healthy, it was a toxic situation, um, kept you stuck. I mean, with this Y energy, you, you, you may be still asking yourself, what the heck just happened? Why did I go through this? Why have we experienced this? So here's where the signs and synchronicities come in. I love it when the cards speak to one another. Heavenly signs. So this speaks to a few things. This could have been an early warning for you in, in a connection or in an unhealthy situation and maybe you didn't see it, didn't pay attention to it, looked past it. Um, this can also be that change has occurred because the divine has kind of stepped into this and you can look at whatever derailed something or is derailing something as maybe divine intervention. There's something that's presenting itself as a bit of an omen here. Like it, something had to happen. Something had to shift and change because it couldn't continue. That's what I'm getting from this very strongly. This, there's a reason I got transformation when I was getting into your energy. I, I feel like what, what doesn't work has got to go. Wow. Gee, Virgo, so heavy. I would expect this in Scorpio's <laughs> reading. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio or someone with strong Scorpio placement. Okay, so let's find out what else is going on around you regarding this connection. I'm actually going to scoot these over here. Let's see what you need to know for the month of September. What else does Virgo need to know, please? For the month of September, Spirit, what does Virgo need to know? Oh, too many cards. <laughs> okay, they just told me to take them. What else? One at a time, please. What else? Thank you. Anything else? Oh my gosh, they're giving me songs. Cheese oh, Louise. Okay, <laughs> it's time. Tick tock, right? Something, and you know, I know we have divine timing here, but there's something here about time. So perhaps this is something you've waited for um, in separation from someone. Uh, there's, a, there's maybe an anxious energy around this. 
Okay, so these are the three that came out. They told me to take it. We have money and finances. So money coming into focus here. This could be related to work. This could very well be a work situation for some of you. Um, you know, you might have been in a toxic job. For others of you, <laughs> and I do feel like this is, this is definitely related to a, a connection you have. And I'm feeling that it is, um, you know, for some of you, love. We have love. So a romantic connection. And this came out with read between the lines. This is digging deeper. This is understanding what someone isn't saying, looking for the hidden meaning in things. If, if, if you thought something, um, if you assumed even something that was going on, maybe related to, you know, feelings or money, because these came out together, maybe you have to look a little deeper at what's happening. Um, maybe this is a relationship of, you know, maybe convenience, love and money. Looking at something differently, taking a deeper dive. Why? And then we have disconnect and relax. This is that separation energy. It is a period of peeling yourself away from a situation to look at it with a new lens. Um, this is taking time to, to really kind of go deep, to figure something out, you know, look into that gazing ball or whatever you're doing in your quiet moments. I feel like a lot of energy may have been put into a situation that drained you perhaps. And this is about um, just taking time for yourself. Chill out, disconnect. It might have been, you know, stressful, whatever it is. Then we have withholding. Something isn't being shared. Um, and maybe that's why read between the lines is here. This, this is an energy of, you know, literally clamming up or holding back feelings, keeping secrets. And then we have long distance trip. So um, this could be related to uh, you know, anything, uh, you know, vacation, world travel. This, this could be anything. Wanting to, maybe you want to disconnect and take a trip. That would probably be good. From the energy I'm looking at, it would probably be good. It, for some of you, you may be at a distance from someone. Maybe you are disconnected and unable to come together especially if you're under lockdown like so many of us are. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot and find out what else you need to know. These energies may or may not be related to what you see here. They might be separate. So since this appears to be, let's call it a relationship reading, however you want to apply it, Let's take a look at your energy in this situation. What can you tell us about Virgo's energy in this situation, Spirit? One more. Virgo's energy, please. Wow. I feel like there's one more. What else? Virgo's energy in this situation, please. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. Evaluating what makes you happy, perhaps? Wow. Okay. We have the High Priestess, Intuition. Trusting your gut about something. Um, maybe, maybe this is also something that you're holding deep within you, not talking about. So this could also be um, a secret, something you're keeping quiet. We have the Two of Wands which is at a crossroads, um, embarking on something new. I feel like you're at the threshold of something new. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Moving on to a better place emotionally, moving on to something more fulfilling. And maybe this rediscovery is you saying, yeah, you know what? 
I, I know deep down I've got to do this. And for some of you, this really sucks. I, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up that this sucks. They, they gave me this sucks. Yeah, this sucks. Oh, okay. So let's look at your person. I'm going to give these a bit of a shuffle. Whoever you are dealing with, what can you tell us about Virgo's person's energy spirit? Oh my, okay. Bottom of the deck, five of swords. I am picking up um, a little bit of a selfish vibe with this. Um, I feel like it's also about um, looking out for oneself and it, it can be in a healthy way. So maybe I'm picking up on two different groups of you. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, well, they're thinking of you. There's your energy. Um, alternatively, this can be trying to figure something out. You know, really, the hermit goes deep. This is gaining inner wisdom, figuring things out, um, learning from past mistakes, having some regret, the five of cups. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting deep, deep regret with that. The Seven of Cups. It's like a, what the heck do I do now kind of an energy. I have choices and decisions to make. What's the right one? I feel like you're, your person better hurry up or they'll miss the boat, right? Because you're, you're looking in another direction. Queen of Swords, Libra Energy. Um, this is about being clear and decisive. So if there's confusion, maybe not for long. It's time to it's time to regroup, refocus, and make some decisions. Okay. So how will this unfold? How will things unfold for Virgo and their person, or Virgo in this situation? How will things unfold? Well, you're going to get your happiness. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Nice. Focus, focus on what fulfills you, which is a good thing. You always should. So you're moving from the eight to the nine. Seven to the eight to the nine, perhaps. Let's see. What else? How will this unfold for Virgo? Anything else? Woo! Okay, that landed in my lap. What else? Let's get one more, please. Oh, God. Hmm. Why? <laughs> Why? So I, I do feel like there's, there's some lingering confusion. You're trying to figure out what to do. You want what you want. Interesting that it showed up, the Five of Swords. So... This will unfold, you know, this may be a situation where it's a, it's a win-lose situation. Someone gets what they want um, and the other person is kind of left walking away with their head hung low. And if this is you getting what you want, Virgo, you're on the verge of, of you know, you're, you're, you're moving on. Ace of Pentacles, fool. That is regeneration. The fool starts at zero and the ace is the new opportunity that presents itself. This can be um, a new job opportunity. Again, for those of you who resonate with this on a work level, this, you know, can be just focusing on how to start over something new. Ace of swords, speaking your truth. What else? Anything else for Virgo? that they need to know about this. Anything else? Okay, one flipped up in the deck. The moon. There may be things you don't understand and maybe never will. Or there's ambiguity you need to clear up. And there you are, the hermit. Look deep. Look deeply. Oops. 
Five of Pentacles energy, leaving something behind. Um, this may be, you know, representing a loss of money, leaving a work situation, leaving something um, perhaps at once stable, but maybe not. What is this secret? Let's look at that. We have withholding and we have the moon. What is that? What needs to be revealed here? One more. What needs to be revealed? Wow. We have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. To me, um, it feels like just communication, period. It feels like you're stuck because there is none. There's a withholding. Anything else about the secret? What secret needs to be revealed? I'm going deep, guys. Oh, shoot, there's the tower. Is that the epiphany? Clarify the tower, please. What is it? Four of Pentacles. Money. Holding back. Um, this, if, if this is related literally to Pentacles, I feel like this is um, a concern about money and long-term security. And maybe the read between the lines energy here is, I'm sorry, love has to take a back burner because I'm focused on my money. Let's get one more on the Tower and the Four of Pentacles. I want you guys to know what the secret is. What else? Anything else? Tower, Four of Pentacles. Oh, holy cow. Okay, we have the Emperor, Divine Masculine Energy. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This could be leaving a family situation or fear of perhaps leaving home because there's stability there. Wow, that's interesting. So what can you tell Virgo about the potential outcome of this? Okay, well this came out sideways. We have the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups sideways. I feel like there is um, an emotional attachment here. Now whether this is a current home situation or this is a desire to have that happiness, I, I feel like it's just not quite there. <laughs> Hey, it's sideways. I'm going to keep it that way. But I, I feel I feel like it's there. We have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. It's like the future's in view. It's, you know, keep your eye on what you really want. Let's, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, oh, geez. Look at that. And there's the king. It's not quite here yet. So you are invited to use this time to really reflect what is your Ten of Cups to you? You know, take this time in separation to really evaluate that. What do I want? What do I want? So whether this is, you know, you or, or your person going through major, major change, they're working on their money, they're working on their money and they're, they're trying to figure out how to move forward without um, maybe losing money. Wow, so let's get some advice for you. Whew, heavy, heavy. <laughs> let's see what Spirit wants to tell you. Advice for Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to know about this situation? Advice for Virgo. More time is needed. Okay, what else? I'm not surprised to see that with divine timing showing here. What else? Anything else for Virgo? Okay. Okay, we have decision needed. 
yeah, that's that two of swords energy. It's time to, uh, time to figure out what to do next. Conflict resolved. Starting a business. So, um, you know, so for some of you, this, this really can be a work situation. So apply it how it applies to your life. But I, I do feel like things are going to work out. If this is really just about creating a happy home, a stable, happy home, um, you know, really maybe all of this is what kind of work do I want to do? Do I want to be in business for myself? Um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm tired of corporate America. Amen to that. So let's, um, let's get one more. Healing wounds. Yeah. They need help. So your person may be in a tough financial place. Or you may be when you least expect it. So I feel like things are going to work out. I, I think that um, whatever's being worked through here financially has to take precedence just for security's sake, perhaps. Um, there's, there's a lot to be decided, though. A lot of choices, a lot of options. And right now, I feel like you're ready to walk away because you, you feel like you're out in the cold in this. But I feel like it's going to work out. Let's get a Whispers of Love Oracle for you. For those of you that this is a romantic connection, let's see what comes through. Virgo and their person. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. Rediscovery, no doubt. What is more important, love or money? Wow. Love endures. Oh, that's beautiful. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation, even big tower moments. Wow. That's actually a really, uh, that's a nice card to get. So, you know, if you're thinking about walking away, um, maybe instead just try to let the divine do its thing. Okay, let's get some guidance for you from the Messages from Spirit deck. Oh, God. <laughs> I know I'm reaching. I know I am reaching uh, a group of people who are resonating with this on a work level, but love's pretty much coming through here. So we have, your person is struggling and needs your compassion and understanding at this time. The circumstance you find yourself in is not worthy of the time spent worrying about it. Release it. You know, this could be the, the, the lack consciousness, the, 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 you know, this five of pentacles energy. Worry about money. It's like, just let it go. Let it go. Like, let go. Let God. This is all going to be fine. A divine partner is on your path. This will be a love like you have never known before. Wow. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much. Check my shop this month. The Spiritual Journey Oracles are going on sale mid-month. Yay. Thank you for your support, everyone. Have a great weekend.